Hey guys, how's it going on? My name is Lewis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is March 8, 2023, and welcome to the Grand Spring News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some breaking news updates, some very important information coming out. Let me just read this part really quick, and it says millions of people in the U.S. are now facing the precipice of a hunger cliff. Great famine is imminent, guys. So it says here, cuts to SNAP benefits will push millions over the hunger cliff. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, and some loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon will get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, guys, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. For those of you that send letters, make sure you leave your number so that way I could call you. Thank you for the kind words and the support to the channel. All right, let's see what's going on here, guys. So a lot of stuff is going on in the Sleeping Giant. When I say the Sleeping Giant, I'm talking about the country, guys. All right, just follow me on this one. So great famine is going to hit the sleeping giant. We are seeing great uh, nation against nation. And we also seeing the pestilence. But those are just the beginning because, uh, again, I believe there's going to be a lot more great shakening to come. Now, famine is something that, uh, again, nobody want to be in that position, guys. Uh, the Bible does speak about great famines from, you know, the time of Egypt and um, the Holy Land. Uh, the Bible does talk about famine. And believe it or not, those in the Old Testament, they prepped. They prepped. They got wheat. They got everything. They know that uh, famine was coming, so they prep. So, so I'm telling you guys right now, you need to prep. Number one, spiritually, you need to be prepared with Jesus Christ. You haven't given your life to Christ. Now is the time to give your life to Christ. You must deny everything. Let go of the things of the world and pick up the cross and follow Christ. Great shaking are coming. See, people nowadays, they don't fear God. Oh, Louis, everything's going to be all right. You know, keep living that fantasy world. The Bible said there will be great shaking. Jesus, our Lord and Savior, said there will be great famine, great pestilence. Fearful events. It's going to be a tough time for pregnant women and nursing mothers. So it's very important that people start opening up the Bible and getting closer to God, focus in the kingdom of God. And um, one thing I tell you guys, remember, God did not give us a spirit of fear. So have no fear. Just live righteous and just li uh, live your life cheerful. So millions of people in the sleeping giant are now facing the... Uh, precipice, I truly apologize about the word, guys, of hunger cliff. So starting in 2020, the year that was, you know what, um, <clears throat> back to the curtain of the tatter state of the sleeping giant safety net and the millions of families who were falling through, hunger rates were expected to soar like they did during the Great Recession. But that's not what happened, thanks to the world event expansions of the Federal Supplemental Nutrition. Uh, I'm going to skip the name. Basically, a snap. Millions of sleeping giants kept food on their tables during an unprecedented uh, public aid and economic emergency. These emergency elements uh, made food easier to access and increase the number of people who were eligible. Hunger rates stayed put during the emergency, and poverty actually fell. Unfortunately, the enhanced food assistance came to an end last Wednesday. Hmm. I started noticing that Walmart, there's something going on in Walmart. There is something going on in Target. There is some stuff missing shelves is not what it used to be like packed 
and you know food is i mean certain foods i, I can't find i've gone to uh win dixie to get uh chicken can find no chicken can find no uh you know certain meat and if you find them it could be a small little package that is like 25 bucks so i i do believe big things are coming uh it's very important that people start prepping the bible said that there will be great famine all right so it end last wednesday because you have these beautiful people here kongs fail to make them uh permanent now remember guys those are the new people in the spotlights the new faces now i believe that snap is very important uh for again when it comes to mothers and young ones or when it comes to seniors uh, i do believe that we need to take care of our veterans need to take care of our seniors and single uh parents that's raising multiple multiple kids i do believe that you know it's very important for us to, to kind of help out and chip in now i know some people are going to be like no they could get a job and well again even in the time of jesus everybody was putting money in a in a basket and this one sweet old widow came and put one coin in there and jesus told everyone in that room this woman has put more than anybody in this room you had uh, rich people saying what are you talking about jesus i put a lot of money in there she only put a coin and jesus said yeah but you still have more money in your account you still have a lot of money put away that sweet old widow has nothing and that was the only coin her only currency she put everything in there very very powerful guys you know it's very important that people read the scriptures get uh you know the bible does bring peace to you at a time like this where the world is upside down when you start reading the bible you feel like a refreshing and you know a new life you feel good so it's very important that people start reading scriptures. All right, so here we go. Uh, you have the Kongs fail to make them payments. So with the double whamming of inflated food prices and other world event support, like the expanded child tax credit, uh, eviction and all this type of stuff in Medicaid, also ending millions of sleeping giant families are now at risk of going hungry now the reason why all this is also happening is because we have to help the yellow and blue country we have to give them the, the ching ching all right we got to give them all that so remember i told you guys last year that they are willing to move heaven and earth that's what he said last year we are willing to move heaven and earth to help the yellow and blue country well, this is what they're referring to. You guys are seeing uh, that metaphor. They want to take everything away from the sleeping giant, everything, and give it to the yellow and blue country. But we have good news. Follow Jesus. But Jesus will take care of us. So this is a critical moment for our sleeping giant we must not allow struggling workers or our young one grandparents and disabled loved ones to fall back into famine snap helps a quarter of a sleeping giant and as i mentioned a couple of minutes ago it's very important to have it because again for the young ones uh, sleeping giants help the young ones avoid hunger it also helps six million older adults senior citizens on fixed incomes four million non-elderly disabled uh, and more than one million low-income veterans the majority of them on snap earn an income and don't receive cash welfare benefits <sighs> millions are being punished millions about to be punished so you have this snap puts food on a table for millions of sleeping giants of every 
you know what? And in every zip code, the world events of 2020 snap expansion successfully narrowed. Uh, I'm gonna skip that name guys and ethnic inequities in food security. Even though the majority of beneficiary, uh, bene beneficiaries uh, are, you know what, in participation is higher, highest in rural areas and small towns. So how bad will things get without action? If you can, please share the video. The young ones, workers, and vulnerable elderly folks who rely on this program benefits will now lose an average of $90 per month. That is sad. My goodness. $90? $90. $90 will get you two bag of chips and uh, some chicken legs. That's it. Because everything's high. And this is how much they get. $90. 90 dollars 90 90 But if you come from the other side in the southern area, and you become a sleeping giant citizen, and you have five young ones, they give you over $900 a month. Hmm. So the young ones, workers, and uh, vulnerable elderly uh, folks who rely on the stamp uh, benefits will now lose an average of $90 per month. Daily food assistance will fall uh, from an average of $9 per person per day to an average of $6.10 per person per day. The Department of Agriculture uh, recently updated a uh, thrifty food plan for SNAP beneficiaries uh, softens the blow for some families, but that program is already being targeted by conserv in Kongs. I'm not gonna say the name, guys. If they roll back, the Mr. Burns Group update benefits to plummet further to just $4.75 per day. Now, here's the thing, guys. I believe that, um, because believe it or not, there's some people that take advantage of this system. There's a lot of uh, 18, 19 years old that's taking advantage and they should uh, go out and uh, work. But uh, I believe that, you know, when it comes to stuff like this, we should keep SNAP. Uh, in order to help uh, single parents with uh, children, also the veterans and senior citizens. I mean, again, a lot of people are laid off. They need help assistance. It's not that easy. But like I said, guys, they just, you know, both sides work together, whether you like it or not. You know, people think that there's a competition going, you know, they're going at it. They work together. This is like Batman and Robin. They're just uh, fooling many sleeping giants. So they work together. Right now, they need uh, some money and uh, to, uh, to give to the Yellow Blue Country uh, when it comes to this biblical war. So they're going to have to cu uh, cut a lot of this here. All right, so these lawmakers should try eating well on $6 per day. Never mind on less than $5. Yeah, I mean, $6. What's going to buy for $6? What you gonna buy for six dollar? A two C well? And a bottle of water that costs five bucks? So for older sleeping giants, the blow will be even worse. Seniors who ordinarily uh qualify for only the most meager benefits before the 2020 event emergency element uh now face the steepest hunger cliff. The monthly element will plunge from two eighty one a month to just $23 per month, about 75 cents per day. Gosh, that hurts. This ain't no sleeping giant, <laughs> man. Uh, these tragic unnecessary cuts will undermine one of, the, one of our sleeping giant most effective anti-poverty and anti-hunger programs. My goodness, according to, I'm going to skip that name, the world events uh, expanded SNAP benefits, reduced overall poverty by 10%, and reduced 
child poverty by 14% in the last quarter of 2021. Studies show that uh, students learn better, graduate at higher rates, and have lifelong increased employment success with uh, sufficient SNAP benefits, and H improves for all SNAP beneficiaries. So we should build on this progress, not destroy it. Kongs can repair and improve the safety net so that our young ones, struggling parents and grandparents don't have to choose between paying rent and eating or getting H care and putting food on the table. SNAP should be protected and strengthened, starting with uh, reinstating the benefits uh, that were cut. I believe SNAP should go on those who are struggling because not many people could become rich and live ghetto fabulous. So, um, believe it or not, I've seen more and more homeless people out there in the street here in the state of Florida. It's really sad that we have uh, Mr. Burns that only cares about the yellow and blue country, gives billions all the way to the other side of the world. And Mr. Z, he gets that money. And his wife, have you seen a picture of her? Last year, she was, uh, she was basically, you know, her regular body, right? But now, if you see her, surgery. My goodness, all over, all over surgery. Clothes, I mean, you name it. But again, you know, we leave that in God's hand. Um, at the very end, I pay tax. We pay tax on whatever that money goes to. Again, we leave it in God's hand. My goodness. Wow. A lot of uh, ching ching just going to left and right, different pockets. Anti-hunger advocates like the uh, Food Research and Action Center have put forward several legislative priority. Enhance SNAP benefits and increase access. They're calling to close existing gaps in access, allow the purchase of hot food with SNAP benefits and a three month and three years time limit for certain beneficiaries and expand benefits to those in need, like low income college students, uh, residents of the sleeping giant territories and lawfully present, you know what? They're also calling to end the lifetime ban that prevents formerly incarcerated you know, from receiving food assistance. All right. So the sleeping giant is the wealthiest nation in the world. <laughs> yeah, we don't see nothing. <laughs> man. Yeah, it is the wealthiest, but man, ooh, mm -mm. we have pajos all over the place. I mean, it, it just. Jesus said, there's a new world waiting for us a righteous dwell will only enter that new world but there, there will no longer be any pain tear uh death or suffering we are foreigners to this world all right we are foreigners all right our citizenship is in heaven right when i say our citizenship i'm talking about those who live in christ those who do not believe in christ you just walk in their corpse I know people, uh, you know, I could talk to people and say, hey, are you ready to give your life to Christ? Uh, maybe, you know, next week and this and that. This is why uh, Jesus uh, Jesus uh, gave this parable. Uh, this one man said, Jesus, I will follow you. But let me bury my father. Let me bury my dad. I will follow you, but let me just bury my dad. What did Jesus say? Jesus responded, let the dead bury the dead. For those of you that don't know what that means is that uh, you always got to put Christ first. If you say, hey, you know, I love my wife, you know, what about Jesus? Yeah, but I love my wife more. Well, Jesus gave you that woman. Jesus gave you that queen. God gave you that children. You got to put God first. You got to put Jesus first. 
If it wasn't for God, Jesus, I mean, you wouldn't have them young ones or that queen. So you always got to put Jesus first. But the problem is, is that people is, you know, the dead is burying the dead. There's so, uh, there's so many of them out there. The dead is burying the dead. You know, Louis, uh, you know, I'll go to that religious church next week. Oh, Louis, you know, I'll give my life to Christ next week. And it's just nobody want to put Jesus first. There's so many let the dead bury the dead. There's so many of them out there. Believe it or not, it's, it's got to be at least more than 80% of them people out there. So it's very important to uh, put Jesus first. None of us should be going hunger or standing at the edge of a cliff about to fall over. It's time we treat access to food as the human right that it is. Here's the thing. Jesus said famine is coming. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, ain't nothing, ain't nothing going to happen. I'm sorry to say it, but uh, according to scriptures in the gospel of Luke chapter 21, the book of Matthew, there will be some things to come. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, for those of you that haven't given your life to Christ, is do it now. Confess, repent. Confess your sin. And, um, you know, just ask the Lord to come into your heart, to come into your life, to change you. When you give your life to Christ, you, you are a born again. A born again. The old you, it's gone. It's thrown into the fire. I say, you don't even got to think about, you know, oh man, I regret this and what I did 20 years ago. Forget that, man. Jesus already washed that out. His blood uh, uh, saved you. What Jesus did in that cross, he took sin. He took everything. He pierced sin. He pierced the wrath of God unto that cross because he loves you. So it's very important to uh, follow Christ. In these tough times that we are living. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, um, just like in the Old Testament, just like in biblical, pro I mean, you know, I mean, throughout the Bible, uh, many people were prep prepping for famine, and uh, I tell people to always prep, you know. And I know there's some people that don't even have the money to prep, but again, God will take care of His people. Remember that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19. Number two, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform. Also, guys, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Give your life to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough time. Till next time later. Peace.